So you want kicking power? Chance and risk getting knocked out! No problem, I got you covered. I got a 15 minute body weight only workout, plyometric style, that's going to increase your power production for your kicks. Fight, moving forward. Oh my goodness! Let's do this. So when you're talking about kicks and powerful kicks, you want to work on your ability to produce power and produce that power as fast and as long as you can throughout the entire time of the fight. So what we're going to be working on are plyometrics or jumping and redirecting force as fast as possible. So our focus points are going to be on increasing power production or our ability to produce force as fast as possible, improves tendon stiffness, and elevate the central nervous system firing rate. So that nervous system should be firing it on all cylinders so that you can produce force and power throughout your kicks. Our key kicking power objectives. First one, we're gonna focus on those specific force vectors, whether that be horizontal, vertical, lateral. When you go to kick, whether it be a Muay Thai style, karate style, whatever kick that you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you're producing power through those particular ranges and direction of force. We're gonna work through planes of motion that are conducive or that carry over into a kicking movement. And we're gonna produce force fast, like I said. So when you're looking at power it's force times velocity so we want to make sure that one you're working on your strength and then two we're gonna work plyometrics in order for us to be powerful with those ranges of motions in the kick we're also gonna use stretch reflex and static overcome by dynamic so when you're talking about plyometric drills this is more that stretch reflex when you're talking about pure jumping or jumping from a non counter movement we're gonna be working on static overcome by dynamic or rate of force development we're gonna go ahead and do an every minute on a minute or an imam six repetitions and we're gonna do five minutes each of each particular jumping pattern so the first exercise we're gonna do a kneeling pop-up tuck jump that way we're gonna go ahead and work on our ability to produce force off the ground using our hips driving up into hip flexion and then redirecting force jumping up vertically and getting into triple extension and then pulling our knees back in really good for karate style kicks things like that when you're flexing and extending the hip half kneeling broad jumps now with the broad jump we're working horizontal force displacement so you're gonna be jumping forward and we're gonna be doing some somewhat of a single leg version because most of the pressure is gonna be coming from the front leg. All right, last one, pop-up, push-up, lateral rotational jump. This one you're gonna start in that push-up position or in that low push-up position. You're gonna pop up off the ground, land on two feet, transition to single leg, push laterally. So now we're working at lateral force and rotating the body, landing on two feet. This is really good when you're talking about Muay Thai kicks because of that rotational component. And you're gonna be pushing laterally with that single leg. So again, Again, to wrap it all up, you have a six rep every minute on the minute for five minutes per jump. So the first jump, like I said, kneeling pop-up tuck jump for five minutes. Transition right into the half kneeling broad jump for five minutes. And then lastly, you're gonna do that pop-up push-up lateral rotational jump for five minutes. Six reps every minute on the minute. In between that work, that rest period that you get, if you do, you're going to shadow box. So you're going to move. You're gonna maintain some movement. You don't wanna stand still. This is going to definitely help on your power endurance, but again, since we're doing low repetitions, you're still able to produce that force as hard and as fast as humanly possible to increase your overall power. After that, you can go ahead and shadow box for five minutes for a cool down or just go for a jog or do some mobility work. But the main thing is making sure that you're getting all of these jumps worked on and they are explosive with maximal intent. All right, there it is. Try it out, get your kicks on, Make sure you're increasing your power production through those kicks and have fun. See you again next time. Peace.